this is our first lecture as a part of the syllabus of computer programming through C language in graphic era group of institutions. Now your syllabus is divided into a number of units. Okay. The very first unit is about a basic introduction to computers. In this particular unit, we are first going to talk about what is a computer, why is a computer used, where are the applications of the computer, how does the computer work at a high level, then the common terms you hear, what is software, what is hardware, then how do you read information into a computer, how do you give information out of a computer. Then you have heard about computer memory, you have heard about the words called RAM, ROM, hard disk, CD, all these things will be discussed in this particular unit. Then data is stored in terms of basically in computers everything is ones and zeros. Now since data is stored as ones and zeros, like just as you say 1 rupee, 10 rupee, 100 rupees, similarly data is measured using bits, bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes and so on and what are their relationship to each other. Then we will talk about roughly in the last 80 years how did computers start and how did they evolve or how did they change from say 10, 15, 20 years on to every 10, 15, 20 years what are the major changes, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages of the one computer over the next generation of computers. Then one important thing, all of you will either be using the Android phone, you'll be using the Windows mobile phone or you'll be using a laptop having Linux, a laptop having Windows or Unix or whatever it is. So all these softwares are known as operating system. So we will have a very brief discussion on what is an operating system and what is its importance. Then finally we will terminate or end this session discussing about computer networks. So in this very first session, let me try to answer the question, what exactly is a computer? So let's try to answer what is a computer. A computer we are going to discuss is an electronic machine. First thing a computer is a machine, it's an electronic machine. An electronic machine that takes in data as an input, processes it, and provides useful information. Let me help you explain and understand what it is. Say for example, I read the marks of all the students in my class, their names, their addresses, the roll number. That is simply data because I cannot make any meaning out of it. Then using the marks, I calculate the percentage, I display the result and print out the marks card. That becomes useful information. So data is any raw facts which do not give us much meaning. Like say for example, I measure the height of everybody in the class. That is data. Now if I calculate the average height of say boys, average height of girls, average height of the class, that is information. So a computer will help me do these things. So the computer will generally take in input raw data. It will do certain processing. That means it will do certain calculations, decision making, etc. And it will provide us an output in form of an information. Now how do you get a computer since it's a machine to do work for you? A computer is able to do work based on the instructions and data provided by you. What is an instruction? Suppose I tell you let us make tea together. So I'll say okay bring the vessel, get some tea powder, get some sugar, get some milk. So all these are nothing but instructions in normal English like language for making tea. Now suppose I have to do some addition in a computer, I will say get the first number, get the second number, add the two numbers and print the result. So each of them happens to be an instruction. What is data? The first number is a data, second number is a data, the result is the information. So computers are machines which perform operations or calculations based on instructions given by human beings. Now let's try to 
make a case why should we use computers because that should be your first question now fortunately for you you have mostly been born when you have seen computers in your life whereas when we were young we had no idea about what were computers and in fact roughly till 30 years back we had no clue what a computer was till we first joined our engineering now if you had to look at the old world for example your electricity bill would come on a pen and paper and that would be noted down in a book and for maintaining that book you would require hundreds of people to maintain the details of who has paid not paid and all with computers coming everybody is given an id identification and using that identification that information is stored in the computer and whether i have paid the bill or not is a work of milli and micro seconds so what would take hundreds of thousands of people hundreds of thousands of hours can be done now very fast that's why computer increases the productivity and efficiency of whatever we are trying to do why is that possible because it's able to process data at a very high speed it's an electronic machine which can process data at a very high speed now if you have seen if you have to store a book you can store on your hard disk tens of thousands of books because the computer has a vast capacities to store a lot of data that is something suppose you had 10000 books easily in a small computer hard disk you can store all the information contained in the 10000 books now the advantage of storing information is in the computer is you can organize it you can delete it you can search very fast okay now thanks to computers you know mobile phone is some kind of a computer you can connect to the world of information through the internet now as you progress ahead so far it was the age of oil now if you have seen jio mukesh ambani saying data is the new oil all the data we generate is going to be used for helping out do different things for example i may do an analysis of the population of the data to figure out how many people have heart disease so i can take better decisions how many people get bp at what age how many people get diabetes at what age what pe which people or the people watch what kind of programs so i can increase my advertisement in those kind of programs so this is all helping you understand data and make using decisions using vast amount of data so this was just our first session to just get you a little started or a little warmed up on what is a computer in the subsequent sessions we will dis be discussing some more aspects of a computer until then goodbye